question that you guys ask me the most, the ones who are trying to start small YouTube channels or start the channels and have it grow is, how do you grow your channel? How do you get more subscribers? What should I do to get more views? So instead of answering every single one of you guys, I decided that I'm going to be making a series of videos basically breaking down how I believe you should go about growing your channel. Now, by no means at, am I a professional YouTube builder or, or whatever you want to call it. All I can do is give you my tips, my opinion on how you should go about growing your channel. And I will try to make it a lot more simple than these other tutorials out there on YouTube because they like to give you all these ways to grow your channel when it really doesn't work. Like, start up a blog. If you start up a blog and blah, 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 like, then people will, no, that's not how it's gonna work. First off, people are gonna have to find your blog and then those people are gonna wanna have to go to your channel. And like, what? And then sometimes they say, oh, tweet your links on social media and you will get more subscribers. Really, nigga? Even if you're somebody on social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and you have like 10,000 followers and you tweet your link, I guarantee you, you're not going to get a ton of subscribers that way. In fact, I see some channels out here who have a lot of social media followers and they tweet their links and they go to your YouTube and their YouTube channel is super small because it just doesn't really core, those two just don't mesh together so perfectly. Okay, so let me give you guys my tips on how to get more subscribers and soon enough I'll go into how to retain your subscribers, how to get more reviews, and blah blah blah, so let's get into it. So now, there's only two time effective ways in my opinion, which are the best ways to actually get subscribers. There are more ways to get subscribers, but the other ways are going to be not time effective, it's going to take a lot of your time, and it's just going to be harder overall. For example, Getting a viral video is going to get you a lot of subscribers, but I'm sure that's going to take a lot of time before you have your first viral video, if you even have one at all. So do you see my point there? You have a viral video which is going to take a lot of time to get, but you'll get a lot of freaking subscribers and a lot of views from it. As a matter of fact, there's a YouTuber that I've been watching since he had 13,000 subscribers, Tyrone Magnus, okay? And it took him two years to finally have a viral video that basically skyrocketed his channel. He basically quit his job and he does YouTube full time and he makes a lot of freaking money off YouTube now. But again, not everybody has two years or more to wait until a viral video pops off before your, your channel starts to grow. So this leads into my two best points, my two best ways of how to grow your channel or how to go about getting more subscribers. The first way is to engage in the community, especially in the community that you're in. If you're a fitness channel, make sure that you're engaging with other fitness channels and the community in that fitness channel. But again, you don't only have to stick to fitness. Engage in any community that you're in. If you like watching vlogging videos like I do, I comment there. If I like watching fitness videos, which isn't actually my favorite type of videos on YouTube, I comment there. I watch prank videos, I comment there. I watch any type of video, gaming, it doesn't matter. If I watch the video, I leave a comment. I engage in the community with the intention, with the genuine intention of actually trying to engage with people. I do not just comment just so that I could comment and leave and have and not reply to anybody who replies to me. Because then you're, then you're legit just trying to get subs and people can see that. Of course, some people assume that about me that I'm only commenting for subs. No and yes. I comment because I know I will get subs that way, but at the same time I comment with the genuine intention of actually trying to interact with you guys. Because I even interact with you guys on my own videos, which takes a lot of time. And I'm not getting more subscribers by interacting with you guys on my channel, because you guys are already there. But I just like talking to you guys, I get to actually build a relationship with you guys, I see you guys on other people's channels, and therefore, I start creating a name for myself in the community. That's why when I don't comment on some videos for a while, people come to me and say, yo, where have you been? So if you're somebody in the fitness community who was in the comment section and your absence is recognized, that means you're going down the right path, whether or not people hate you or love you. Now, when I say comment on videos and engage in the community, I don't mean spam. When I first started off on YouTube, I was actually a spammer. I would actually leave multiple comments on one video saying, check out my channel, check out my channel. I would put links on people's videos. Like I'll put links to my videos and all of that. And I would just guess, I would just get my comments just washed away in the spam box, right? There's something called spam box. Like some of you guys end up in my spam box 
views. A lot of you guys like to promote yourself on my channel. And when you try to promote yourself and you say keywords that YouTube recognizes spam, you end up in my spam box and it just gets deleted. And I just, it's like whatever. Like, you learn your lesson, right? So basically, I learned my lesson by trying to spam, and Google sent me a message saying, "Hey, if you could, if you continue to keep this up, we will ban your account or suspend your account indefinitely." So I was like, "F that! I ain't gonna do it." As a matter of fact, after I did that, I tried to spam in a different way to not get caught by YouTube. So what I would do, what, what I would do was I would go and say, hey guys, my channel's about to reach this many subscribers. And then it was getting out of hand, I knew it was getting pretty bad, so then I quit and I started, I started uh, commenting normally. So when I started commenting normally and I changed my mindset about how I go about engaging in the community with a genuine intention of actually speaking to you guys, things took a turn for the better, basically. I still got the hate from some of the haters and the negative people, but here's the thing, the positive people, which most of you guys have become who start to watch my videos, you guys saw me being attacked by people for doing something so normal, such as just commenting on, on the video, so then you guys come to me and you guys say, yo, fuck the haters, man, just continue doing you, bro, subscribe. So then from there, I started to realize that just engaging in the community as a normal person, a normal commenter, you will get a lot more respect and in turn, a lot more people will want to subscribe to you and check out your channel, okay? Now, again, spamming is not commenting on every video. So don't mind the haters or the stupid negative people who want to get upset at you for commenting on every video. Because they're, if, they, if that's something that's gonna really annoy them and get under their skin, then they really have to reevaluate their life. So don't become discouraged by those people. In fact, keep those people around because those people who hate you, trust me, haters build your channel more than, almost more than the supporters. I'm being honest. Look at Vegan Gains' videos. This guy, he has 80K subscribers and he gets on average around 100,000 views on a lot of his videos. Like that's freaking ridiculous. So again, a lot of those views are from haters, so don't get too upset at them. They get under your skin at first, as you guys remember from earlier on in my channel. I used to get upset at the haters when I was doing powerlifting and cast next, but then you start to get used to it and realize that they're always going to be around no matter what you do, okay? What spam really is though, is trying to re reply to every single person who is on the front page of the comments. Don't do that. A guy tried to do that on my channel and I told him, I'm like, hey man, it's not going to work out for you if you continue doing that. It's not going to be worth your time. And then he thought I was trying to come at him and be hypocritical because he thought I was attacking him for commenting on my video. When no I wasn't, I told him to continue commenting, but I said, don't reply to every single person. It won't be worth your time. You're not going to get a lot of subscribers. Because I know he's commenting on my videos to get some subscribers, which I said I don't mind. If you if you're gonna comment on the videos to get subscribers, cool, but have a genuine intent of actually talking to people. I know you're not trying to hold 10 conversations at a time. That's freaking ridiculous. That's freaking ridiculous. Seriously, when I leave a comment on the video, I leave one comment and I only have a conversation within that one comment because I know I don't have it in me to talk to 10 different, have 10 different conversations, okay? So I basically told him to stop doing that and he got upset. He thought I was a hypocrite because I comment on every video and I'm telling him to stop. I'm like, no, that's not the case. I'm telling you, I made that same mistake. Don't make that same mistake. He got upset and he started calling me. He started saying, oh, like, you're not on my level. You're not on my level. I'm like, bro, you have like 300 subs. I'm not on your level. I have almost 10,000. I'm not trying to brag, but if you're gonna come at me, like, as I say, as I said in the other video with the powerlifting, with the guy bragging, the Cal Sense guy bragging, I said, it makes sense when you're gonna brag. Don't say I'm not on your level when you don't even, you don't even break 50 views on the video, right? So I just got upset and I blocked him. So again, don't be that guy. So my tip to you guys is go comment on videos genuine actually want to talk to people and leave only one comment your own main comment okay don't be replying to every single person reply to people if you want but don't be replying to 10 different people okay so this video is going on longer than I thought so I'm gonna break up the second part of this video into a different video basically which is gonna be talking about shout outs and collaborations okay that is a little bit hard to get but you may get more subscribers from that depending on who you work with. So I'll go into that in the next video, so stay tuned, guys. Done.